Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and guess what it's time for? Guess what it's time for? <laughs> Buona.tv Q&A. Buona.tv Q&A. Buona.tv Q&A. Buona.tv Q&A. <laughs> Uh, you know the jingle, you know the jingle. It's time for Buona.tv Q&A, and I got some messages queued up over on my YouTube message inbox. There was a lot of them. I went through as, as many as I could, but I picked out a few that I'm going to talk about on this video, try to go through them as fast as I can. So let's go ahead and get started. Reaper fan is asking me, for your higher res videos, do you still use a handheld camera? I'm really interested in making gameplay footage, but I don't know if I, if I use a camera, if there's any alternative you could help that would be great well there's many different things you can do but one of the best ways you can make PC gaming videos or machinima is to get yourself a good capture card if you get a good capture card you can capture direct you can capture video directly from the video game console or PC itself and not have to worry about jiggling a camera camera or worrying about lights or scan lines on the TV get yourself a good capture card and capture it that way they're all of the market I myself have a capture card that I use for streaming. It's the Accelerate from ProView. So go to Google and Google Accelerate. That's XLR8. And it's a USB capture card, kind of low end, but it's built specifically on the, for the Mac platform and streaming it out to the internet. So I use that to stream Ustream. But if you're serious about making some videos and, and doing some editing and adding voiceovers, you might want to get yourself a better capture card and some good software so that hopefully that will help you Reaper fan. Okay, MW Place Teeny asks, your information, etc., is invaluable. I have two questions. Uh, I would like to send you some money and a thank you for all your information. How do I do that? Well, go to my site at www.one.tv. On the right side, on the, on the right side, on the sidebar, there are some donate links. The very first donate link allows you to donate whatever amount you want, and then a one-time donation. And then there is a one dollar a month, five dollar a month, or five dollar a month if you want to do a, a recurring donation. So that's the best way to do that. Um, he says you're the kind of guy that makes us 55 plus year old dummies actually able to do a few things on the web that you guys take it second nature. I take that as a compliment. I really want to record Skype video calls and not just the audio part, but also the video part so that I can replay them and watch them again later. Or even better, share them with my friends. My daughter's overseas right now. Yada yada yada. I don't want to get into that. Um, but basically, do you have any suggestions? He owns a new MacBook and is running 10.5.2. Well, I don't know of an elegant solution for this. Unfortunately, the only solution I have is kind of kind of like analog. You can get a, a software application called I Show You, which is uh, equivalent to uh, Camtasia for the PC. And as you sh as you're showing the uh, the Skype video. Um, you can actually capture that portion of your desktop and save it to disk. Unfortunately, that requires a lot of resources and could tax your MacBook and there's a, there's a great chance that your audio and video may get out of sync. Um, I don't know of any applications out of the box that can record Skype video in the way you can, but I can do some research for you and try to find out for you. But I show you is what I use to record my desktop video stuff. And you can record a segment of the screen and actually pipe audio from audio devices, including your system devices and your Skype audio as well. So you can get that direct audio and possibly the video. So it may work for you. I show you is affordable. Uh, just go to Google and type in I show you, I S O H W, and the letter U and uh, search for that it'll be the very first hit and I guarantee it'll do the job but it, it probably probably can be done better okay number three DJing with my 1.6 gigahertz and 0.99 of RAM this is caliber 44a he says I own a Toshiba Equinum A100 with 1.6 gigahertz whatever I'm using it for DJing and it was Vista but now I downgraded it to XP I love how people say that um, Oh, I'm sorry, I got it wrong. People say they upgrade XP. Anyway, when DJing with the laptop, it sometimes stops for a second, then carries on playing. Could this be due to the RAM? I would like to put four gigabytes in my laptop. Well, with audio, I found that it's a combination of things. It could be it could be a hard drive issue. If you have a laptop, it may have too slow of a hard drive to keep up with all the audio things you're doing, and it may be buffering, and it may stop and halt things to buffer that data and it may halt your system. Um, 
you you can add more RAM. There's nothing wrong with adding RAM. RAM is going to help you. But I think your bottleneck may be a combination of your hard drive and your CPU. So you might want to close background running applications. I, I heard that you, you said you installed XP, so I'm assuming there's not a lot of software that you don't want on there. You might want to disable antivirus programs and anti-spyware programs which run in the background, scan files, and may inhibit your ability to get a smooth audio playback. So you might want to check that. Look into investing into a 7200 7, RPM hard drive or possibly an external hard drive, maybe a Firewire or USB, a 7200 RPM drive. That may be your bottleneck. That's what I'm sensing. All right. So Star, the next one, Star Doll. Where am I at? Five minutes? I'm halfway there. Star Doll's All Star. Star Doll. Star Doll. That's two words. How did you get Family Guy on your PS3? Please, please tell me and add me. And he has this nickname. Well, there is a piece of software out there, and I'm, it's, I'm drawing a blank, but there's, um, I think it's called PS3 Video, oh man, I can't remember. I'll, I'll direct you, direct email you the link, but there is a piece of software out there which will convert any video to a format to where your PSP and your PS3 will work with it. Um, gosh, I'll, I'll come back to it. Maybe it'll come to me then, but I'll direct message you the answer to that. That's the program I use, and then I copied it to a USB stick, and then I plugged the USB stick into my PS3, and then I that's how I did Family Guy. Ever since then, right now I have a web server, and I can browse to my web server from my PS3 and download files directly from there, so that's, that's the easy way, I guess. Um, so, um, uh, hopefully this will help you, but I'll definitely get you that link, uh, Stardoll, Stardoll. And California Blue Eyes says, uh, n <laughs> um, this is kind of a knock, I don't want to read it, but not much help in Chris's site, I'm assuming Chris Perillo's. We'll send you, will you send me a web address of the link to it, please? Thank you, a fan of yours. Um, I am at live.buana.tv, or you can go to www.buana.tv. That's B W A N A. TV. If you come to live.buana.tv, you'll see my live stream. You'll also see a chat window below it. And from there, you can interface and interact with our community. I tend to stream at night. Um, during the day, I have a day job, and this is not my day job. This is a hobby. And uh, it's typically between 8 to midnight sometimes even later depending on my workload uh, like for example today I had an eye doctor appointment so I couldn't see for pretty much the whole day <laughs> so I started a little bit later than usual so um, hopefully that answers your question alright uh, Z Meffler Mike can you please send me the application install that app I've been looking for it everywhere can you possibly that's possibly safe put my email is blah 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 go to ziphone.org ziphone.org. Z as in zebra, iPhone.org. It will install installer.app after you have jailbroken your iPhone. You will be good to go. Hi, Buona TV. You cool? I want to just ask you, what's the difference? This is Cool Eyes. I just, what's the difference between USA iPhone and a China iPhone? Cause China iPhones are cheaper? With question marks. Thanks. Um, China, the China iPhone knockoff is just that. It's a knockoff. I haven't looked at the details or the specs of it, but China is very good at copying other products and making them something else. You'll like you'll see a Nintendo Weem with an M at the end, or 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 Proud Station 3, or or X Boxer 390, or something like that. <laughs> they have they have a knack for copying products. Now I haven't looked at the specific iPhone. Some people think it's better than the Apple's iPhone. I can't say that for sure, but uh, I don't know. That's my answer. I don't know. Uh, Matt School says, is there something I can download from the install so I can save pictures from Safari to my iPhone? That's coming in the June update. Wait for that. Xbox Live. What's your Xbox Live account name? This is Jelly Rock is 123. I'm Nuvalo. That's N-U-V-A-L-O. Uh, iPhone C10 says, hey, boy, I wasn't sure if your iPhone is jailbroken. I'd like to know. Thanks. Nope. It's not jailbroken. Where'd I put it? Um, this guy's stock now. And uh, could you make a video about the iPhone iPod Touch website, AppSafari.com? It's cool. I use it every day. Skater Stick. I just did that. It's going up on YouTube. All right, guys. This is Buona from Buona TV. Concluding with Buona TV Q and A. Buona TV Q and A. Buona TV Q and A with iPhone in my hand. <laughs>